Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of FinTech News. I'm your host, Nicholas Dalvo. And as per usual, I have the pleasure of having our head of research here, Cigar. How's it going? Good, you? Fantastic. So today, a big day in FinTech News, especially here at home in Montreal. Uh, Milo announces a raise of a $10 million Series A. Congrats to, to Phil and the team. Uh, South Korean regulators plan an open banking experiment. Card as a service startup de um, deserve raises a $50 million round. And Two Keys, an Ottawa based company acquired by Interact. So we'll dive in, explain what all these startups do and what this represents. But yeah, first off, here back in Montreal, Milo raising $10 million just announced today publicly. So congrats to everybody on the team. Just really quickly, Sigar, you want to just explain what Milo does for the people who might not know? Um, it's, in simple terms, it's a roundup feature. Whenever I spend something on my credit card, um, the app rounds that up, that, that purchase, and invests the spare change um, into uh, an investment vehicle of your choosing. Yeah, so it makes it really easy for millennials, or anybody really, to start investing without having to think a bit, really automating your personal finances. So that's uh, great news and, mm -hmm. and really to, to help the it's, the... it's, yeah, great for Montreal, $10 million. Uh, that's very impressive. Good yeah. job, good job. Good job, guys. Uh, now, let's travel over to South Korea. Um, so, what, what could you run us through what's happening over there? Um, so, South Korea is testing an open banking system, and um, they're doing it based on the model that the UK created. So, they have these 10 trusted banks in the consortium, and they will test it with just one app, which allows the user to um, access all their accounts and, uh, in, in, in one place instead of uh, having different apps for the banks. So, it's interesting to see that. Um, um, the uh, South Korea, UK, they have set this model, whereas Canada, it's 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 the bank that is taking the initiative. It's RBC with an open banking API and Scotia working on things as compared to um, the federal government doing. Right. They are doing something, but they haven't imposed anything on the banks as of now. So here it's more privately led, whereas right. other countries are doing it government led. Right. Do you see any like pros or cons on this? Um, in terms of um, actual industry knowledge, it's always banks who have more information about sure. what should or should not be done. But again, um, they would do it for probably their own benefit and their own bottom line as compared to the consumer. Um, if the government is the one who is taking the initiative, uh, they take into consideration, hopefully, uh, the interests of all parties involved. And, and yeah. So it's more of a balanced approach. Yeah, very cool. Uh, next news we want to speak about is Card as a Service company Deserve, which raises fifty million. What's Card as a Service cigar? Um, it's 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 a fancy word or a fancy term for just having white label credit cards uh, for someone who wants to do something with credit cards. So let's assume that you and I um, want to build an app in let's say gambling. Let's um, build a gambling app, why not? Why not, yeah. And then and we want to have our own user base on our own credit card, so okay. just so that we can manage funds better. What are we going to call this gambling app? I'm kidding, <laughs> I'm kidding. You're the marketing <laughs> guy. <laughs> um, so so that's, that's really the product. Um, it's a white label card service. The interesting thing about it is it could lead to the creation of a platform where you just have to build apps and the underlying infrastructure is taken care of by the card as a service. So um, a quick example of crisis, uh, it's called Valo now. They wanted to build, they, they're still building an app that allows parents to track or, or control or inculcate um, good spending habits for the children. Sure. And one of the biggest problems that they faced was getting that underlying uh, payment. The back end. Uh, really. The back end, right. So this allows them to just create the app and then use uh, the service. And I feel okay. that it could be some kind of a place to in the future where people are just creating apps and then using the white label service. But that's my hunch, I don't know if it's gonna happen. But yeah, and you, you gave a good example earlier, like a Google Play Store yeah, yeah, approach yeah. Exactly. of it being right. really, uh, just very modular. So anybody who has an idea will uses that as a plug and play exactly. service and then you could build something on top of it. And it's Goldman who invested in that and they have this Marcus uh, bank, which yep. is completely online. So there's something going on there. Very cool, we'll uh, definitely follow that along. And then lastly, back at home here in Canada, uh, Two Keys, a company based out of uh, Ottawa, mm -hmm. gets acquired by Interact. So first off, maybe what does, uh, what does Two Keys do? Um, it's a simple digital identity uh, company or startup. And um, 
there's nothing I, from what I could uh, understand. They're nothing really peculiar. They're just good at doing what they're supposed to do. That's generally um, the the fundamentals of a good company. Nature. Simple, easy to understand, but really good at executing. Yeah, true, true. And then and, and they're collaborating with Intrax, so I'm pretty sure they are really good at <laughs> what they're doing. Um, the interesting thing, however, is that Canada is moving more towards that Estonian or even the Indian digital identity system. Right. And I believe um, that Interact and the government are working together to figure out that what we call the niche market. Yeah. And, and when it comes to payments, uh, it's the easiest way to get the consumer onto the platform and then make them start using the digital identity. So that's okay. why I feel this collaboration happened. OK, very cool. Well, that wraps up uh, everything we wanted to discuss today in FinTech. So thank you to everybody tuning in or watching this later. As always, we're always live Tuesdays at 3.30 PM Eastern time to get your weekly dose of FinTech news. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next week. See ya.